or treat. Somebody in here, just a sec. Trick or treat. Regina Kit. <laughs> oh, so what's with the costume? Let me ask you something, Karen. Can you trick a test? Like beat a drug test? Yeah, like beat a drug test. Mm, not, that? not very likely, assuming that the employer is doing testing the right way. The right, what do you mean, the right way? Well, that they're sending it to a certified laboratory, for one thing, and that they're using controlled collection. You know, things like putting bluing in the toilet and making sure there's no running water so that people can't water down their donation, if you know what I mean. Huh, like, yeah. sort of like checking a urine specimen to make sure it's normal temperature? Yeah, they do that too. They check the temperature. And they also have what's called a chain of custody for them. And the employee signs it all through mm. the testing process. And they have this little red tape that they put over the specimen container to wow. be sure that when it goes to the lab, nobody messes with it. That kind of stuff. Huh. Yeah. What about this? <laughs> you know what? Don't laugh at me. But I was up on campus. I, I don't know how I ended up there, but I ended up at a pretty bizarre store. And some guy gave me that. Said I could trick a drug test. Yeah, well, uh, nice treat, Regina. These adulteration kits, what people don't realize is that the active ingredients are actually picked up in a drug test, so the result comes back adulterated. But that's only if an employer is doing the right kind of testing, right? Yeah, if they're using that gold shelf type of testing. Yeah, they don't work. Now, there is one thing we haven't talked about yet, which is kind of gross, but huh. there are some people that will try to trick a drug test by carrying in somebody else's urine. That just is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's creepy, but there are stories of that happening. But don't the collection site, like their staff, aren't they looking for those kinds of things? Well, they are trained, and they've been around, they've seen a lot. So they do and are looking out for suspicious type behavior. But, you know, yeah, they do, they are looking for things like that. Now, this is where the employer can really do things to prevent that from even happening. Like what? Well, they can... Make sure that the employee doesn't have too much time to go and get somebody's urine before they get to the collection facility. Huh, so I'm thinking, with what you're saying now, an employer should tell an employee that there's a test and yeah. they need to say, you need to get there within the next 10 minutes and come on back. Yeah, you know that there are some employers that will go up to the employee and say, hey, your name's been drawn for a random test. Go within the next couple well, days. That, makes sense. that doesn't make sense at all because we're giving them way too much time do what they want to do, and we don't even know for sure that they've even showed up at the collection wow. facility. You know what, Karen, this process sounds tight to me. Yeah, it is tight. It is tight. It's a real reliable process. Employers should feel really confident about it. So, I'm thinking no trick, huh? Uh, no trick. What about that treat? 